Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Chevron Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And you know it's this time of year where we get a chance to really enjoy our community. And I'm so very glad that our parish government feels strongly enough to make sure that we do something for our families, do something for our kids. And we're very glad to have Ann Pico with us to tell us more about that. Ann, welcome to the show. Thank you, Keith. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. Of course, Ann, Main Street Manager with Terrible Parish Government. And you guys are always thinking about ways to enrich the lives of the people in our community and really celebrate. I, I appreciate that. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. It takes a team. Yeah, it really does. You know, and, and you're the spokesperson for it. So <laughs> you get credit and then you get to share it with everybody else. Uh, but the, the Christmas Day Parade is one of those things that I know families really look forward to. And we've been planning it for some time. Yes, and we have 35 floats this year. Wow. We had 35 last year. Right. And again, Keith, if the community wouldn't support it, we wouldn't have it. So right. kudos first and foremost to the to the community for supporting it. And then parish government employees. There's so many elves behind the scene. Right. I love it. The elves behind the scene. And that's what it talks about when it comes. To, and this year it was important for us to kind of look at the day that it was scheduled, which was Saturday and is that the right day and should we do it that day? Let's talk a little bit about what went into that. Sure. So it started Monday morning. Mr. Dove was really concerned about the the weather and he was entirely always thinking about the children. He said, this is a children's parade. Right. It's not Mardi Gras. We wouldn't be even having this conversation if it was, <laughs> right, adults. If it was about Mardi Gras. So with right. that being said, yesterday is when we all came together and cohesively made the choice to move it to Sunday. And it'll be Sunday, December 3rd, starting at 5 p.m., same route. Same route. Terrebonne High School, rolling down Main Street, turning on the corner of um, Barrow, and ending right there at the Conoco Station. And then the folks will be dropped off at the Civic Center this year. If right. I can repeat that, the Civic, Civic Center, Center. So that's and where, not Town Hall. Right. And, and so that's a little bit of a change. And so we've got the date that's different and dropping off at Civic Center. Uh, but the route uh, is is really is the same as it was going to Correct. be on Saturday. The route is the same. And so it's exciting for people. And, and it's this parade with 35 floats. 35 floats, Keith. I mean, same that's as correct. last year. Correct. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of floats. It is. It's a lot of people participating, a, fi a lot of family. And it is. It's always great. Everybody comes together that you can see families helping others get their kids on the floats. It, it's a really nice time of the year that everybody gets together and shares the joy. Right. And we know that it's going to be cool. Uh, we were hoping that the rain is going to push itself out. And so by that afternoon, we want it to be nice and cool to enjoy a, a Christmas parade, but we don't need it wet. Uh, so that we're, and so that was part of the reason as well. It was supposed to be cold, wet and windy. Correct. So Saturday, Saturday really looks nasty, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And so everybody again on the team was concerned about weather conditions, but also the wind making it even chillier and really uncomfortable for the kids. Sunday at this point looks better. And mm -hmm. so that's where we're going with it. Yeah. So Sunday, five o'clock, Aaron, put that back up. If you don't mind, I want people to know, I want you to share with your family and friends uh, that if in fact they thought this was going to be on Saturday, it's been moved. So the, the Christmas parade uh, downtown in Homa on Sunday, December the 3rd, will begin at 5 p.m. Uh, I've got Ann Piku here talking with us about the fact that we have 35 floats, uh, very exciting, and that your family can come out and really enjoy that. And Ann, if you wouldn't mind, maybe walk us through what that route is again, just so people can know where they want to line up. Sure. So we'll start um, promptly at 5 o'clock at Terrebonne High School in the stadium parking lot. It will roll down Main Street. It will turn on the corner right onto Barrow, Barrow and it Street. ends at the corner of Barrow and School by the old Conoco Station. Right. And then the floats will move to the Civic Center and the families will be disbanded at the Civic at Center. At the Civic Center. Yes, so again, a couple of changes. Again, we're December the 3rd, not December the 2nd. And instead of Town Hall this year being disbanded, it'll be disbanded at the Civic Center. And Correct. so you can pick up people there. Um, so very exciting uh, to be able to work with the parish and to be able to really see all of these wonderful things happening with Main Street. And the parade is one of those things that kind of is the culmination at the end of the year, right? Correct. 
Uh, if I can also add, this year we added Christmas decorations, so we have a gingerbread theme. Oh, And nice. that was a collective audience with the Main Street program, of course, administration giving us the funding, a leadership Terrebonne, uh, the Homer Restoration Commission. So again, it's it's exciting to see the community come together as a partnership to decorate the new plaza. Right. So, and also on Sunday, uh, the McDonald Home will still have their little festival. Right, right. From uh, two to five. So please come support the McDonald Home. Casa's involved, the Haven's involved. Um, and so, again, all the money goes to very good nonprofit organizations. Yeah, a really good thing. Come and see Kevin and, and what all of the wonderful work that they do over Absolutely. at McDonald and all of these nonprofits and, and what they do. But you mentioned something that's really important, and you, you didn't want to take credit on the front end, and we know that about you. But we also know that the partnerships in our community make a difference. Absolutely. You were just talking about just the, the number of the four or organi five organizations that come together just to be able to put on just the whole the theme of the gingerbread. Right. Correct. And so it's just really nice to be able to see that people don't always realize the of, amount of time that goes into that. What a great shot. Thank you very much. And so, yeah, I mean, that's some of the beauty that we have in our community uh, where people can go and take some pictures and be gingerbread men and women. Uh, who wants who who doesn't want to be a gingerbread? And again, the the plaza being able to be lit up like that, and all of these uh, things are just so very very nice. So Aaron, thank you for that. And so and we appreciate the partnerships of what y'all do, and the fact that we were able to bring this Christmas parade. How wonderful that's going to be! So thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate Merry that. Merry Christmas. So, absolutely. So wonderful holiday season. So Merry Christmas to you guys and everybody that y'all partner with. We thank you kindly. That. All right, that'll do it for this particular segment. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more right here on HTV.